Welcome back! Until now we already achieved a lot in this series. We authenticated users, we added the back end to allow us to authenticate users in the first place. And in the last video we were able to sign a user in and receive the token which authenticates the user, which allows us to authenticate for subsequent requests. Now we're at this subsequent requests part. Now I want to use this token to, well, allow us to create quotes again, because right now we get this error message. So let's change something about this and let's make sure that we can indeed now create quotes again. To do this, we already stored the token in the local storage. Now we need to retrieve it when we send requests to the server. So in my quote service, here, we need to attach this token for adding quotes, updating quotes, or deleting quotes. And to do so, we need to retrieve the token. So I'll add a little helper method to my, whoops, to my off service here. I'll name it get token, and you could add this anywhere, but I think logically it makes sense to sit in the off service. And all I will do here is I will return local storage get item token. So I will try to fetch this token from the local storage. Of course, this is undefined if we don't have the token stored there. So with this in place, I can go to the quote service and inject my off service there to get access to this newly created method. So the off service is added here. With that, we're now able to get the token from the off service. Make sure to add this import here at the top though, in the quote service that is now. And now for adding a quote, I need to get the token so I can reach out to off service and simply call get token there. And this is either the token or null if we don't have a token. Whatever it is, if it is null, we will, we will get an error anyways when trying to reach out to the backend. So in this case here, when we get the token, we now need to add it here to our request. So I will add uh, query parameter token equals and then well equals our token which we just fetched from the local storage. So with that we're trying to attach the token to our request and this is how you saw a few lectures earlier how we do it. We add it as a query parameter at the end of our URL. Well with that we now send the token to the backend. We, we now are able to hopefully create posts again or quotes again. Let's see it in action. I already have a quote uh, token stored in the local storage from the last video. Let's now go to add a new quote, a new quote again, and let's hit submit. And it opened on a new window, but I got this quote created alert. So this seems to work. Let's have a look at the database. We go to quotes, here it is, a new quote again. So indeed, we were able to create this quote with the token we passed. So this works as it should. Now let's quickly add it for all the other methods here too. So for updating a quote, here we should also, at the end, after the ID, here we should also then add the token query parameter and pass the token. So make sure to do this after the ID, after slash ID, add question mark token equals and then your token. And do the same for deleting. Also here, after the ID, because it should be the last thing, you have in a string token equals and then your token. And this should allow you to delete and update posts too. Now, of course, we also should implement some error handling. For example, if we get an error that the token did expire. And you remember probably that we do send or that the JWT middleware does send such um, messages if that is actually the case. So that is something you should do in a real app. Implement some error handling here. Handle the case that you're not getting a successful response, but instead that you're getting um, an error. And show an appropriate message to the user like you need to sign in again. I won't do it here for now. Maybe at later we'll see, but it's something to keep in mind. Right now we will only see an error in the console and of course the user typically doesn't look at the console and shouldn't. So definitely implement your own error handling, but I wanna check if it works for updating and deleting quote the, uh, quotes if the token is sent there. So let's go to quotes and get all the quotes. Whoops, get quotes. And yeah, let's add it, this quote here, a new quote 202020 or 2222, I mean, let's save. 
Looks good. No error message. If I reload here, get quotes again, that looks good. And if I now delete it, that seems to work too. Quote deleted. Let's again reload and see if they're really gone. Looks great. With that, we changed our angle to front and to now also allow us to sign users up, sign users in, store the token and use that token to then do something on the server and authenticate ourselves. And you also saw that we are protected against invalid tokens or no tokens being present. And this is how you typically authenticate with a single page application and the API in the background. Now next, I will move on to do the same for ViewChairs. Of course, feel free to improve this app to add better error handling, improve the styling a little bit to make it look nicer or whatever you wanna do. But these are the basics which should get you started. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.